I've been wanting to talk about this for a long time. <gasps> it's Bunny. <laughs> So there may be videos already posted about this, but with the protest and all the things that are going on, you have to think about the black dollar and how important it is. Now this is a two-parter. This first one is dealing with the promotion that I see my sisters doing on YouTube. And I want everyone to tag their favorite wig reviewer because I want them to respond to this video and let us know what's going on. Okay, so that's what this video is about. Now, me, like the rest of a lot of women on YouTube, if we wanna know about wigs, if we wanna know about hair extensions, we'll just type in the style, we'll type in the brand and just look at somebody, review it. They'll review the wig, we'll click on that link, we'll go to that website, right? And we'll buy it and we'll be happy. But a lot of those reviewers, all right, they review the wig, they talk about the details of the wig, basically, basically a commercial, a commercial for the wig, a free, a free commercial for the wig and it just dawned on me that okay i know that my sisters are getting coupon codes and they making a coin you know and there's an exchange with that on how many people use the coupon code and so maybe it's like a win-win they'll send them a wig for free to review but is the trade-off for the coupon code is the trade-off for the wig a fair trade are we, are they using these YouTube influencers to review these legs? Because what many people need to understand is that in this day and age, the black dollar, especially when it comes to beauty, fashion, hair, wigs, nails, there's this trade-off of a few thousand or 10,000 views in exchange for what YouTube is paying you. But what are those companies paying you? There should be this shift of having contracts with those companies. Because we're making you, not me personally, my black women are making these companies millions of dollars. So what are we gonna do about that? It's about claiming that control over what is rightfully yours. If majority of their purchases are coming from women that are looking at these reviews on YouTube and then going on their website and purchasing them up. You know, we have plenty of them. We have a uh, hair show, wig types. I mean, there's all types of web websites that we can go to to buy. Are those companies giving them their fair coin? I just want to know because I realized how much of an influence they are. And I have to ask those questions because YouTube last year or the year before that, they had those YouTube awards. I didn't see anybody that looked like me. I mean, the awards were a complete fail um, because it was boring and you had crazy people, but they were giving away awards for people with, that do makeup, influencers with hair, infl and I didn't see anybody that looked like us, but yet we are helping a lot of companies make millions of dollars. And is it fair that the trade-off is a coupon code? Is it fair that the trade-off is whatever you're getting paid from YouTube to do those reviews? And do we need to take more control in saying, I'm making y'all millions of dollars, so, mm, this is what I think the solution is. Okay, and I want all of you wig reviewers, hair reviewers to hear me out. And I want you to tag and share this video and make a reaction video and spread this as much as you can because this is serious. 
when we talk about this dollar that we're not getting. I see a lot of white influencers that review and talk about items and products on their pages and they are getting paid. Okay. What are they doing and is their value and what they're doing, are they giving, getting a bigger coin? It's clear that they're getting a bigger coin from these companies. When they talk about paint, when they talk about tables, when they talk about a camera, they're getting paid. And I look at the amount of followers and, excuse me, the subscribers that they have, and then I look at the other influencers that do hair, and it's pretty much even Steven. So, this is what I think y'all should start doing. If you get hair or you get extensions or you get makeup, continue to post photos, pictures, whatever, but not giving any detail about what it is until these companies are willing to break you off a check. Do we need to get lawyers involved? Maybe y'all do. Look, I got under a thousand subscribers. I'm not monetized yet. I'm not getting any coin. But for the women that are getting coin that have way past a thousand subscribers and you are literally giving those companies millions of dollars by people watching y'all's pay, y'all are buying things or either they're sending them to you either or and you have thousands of people watching your videos. Help me understand. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm five, 10 years ahead. I don't know. But to me, it seems unfair that I don't want to sound rude, but you can tell there's a difference of the coin by the revenue, the links, the background or where y'all living compared to what other people are doing. They in these big old houses on the hills and like, hit that subscribe button, you guys. Y'all, look at my $3 million home, how are you? Y'all, we're gonna review this iPhone and we're gonna give 10 of these away. Yeah, just hit subscribe and we got all these and we're gonna mail them first 10,000 comments. It's like, for real? Okay. Um, Help me out, help me understand this. Help, help, help me understand this, but I really think y'all should be just be posting what the items are and when you get that build up and people want to know what wig is that oh i'm not getting paid enough to tell you <laughs> or i am getting this amount of money and working with this company i have contractually agreed that i can tell y'all what wig this is how about that please help me understand wig influencers hair influencers what's going on let me know if I'm completely wrong in, in saying, girl, I do make a lot of money, but you know, I don't put that out there like that, or they are breaking me off a check. Please let me know. Please let me know. Because when I compare and contrast certain things, it's really not adding up and it's really not matching up. We have to start valuing our dollar and our time and what we're reviewing and what we're doing. Now, when I first started my YouTube, channel i thought oh i'm gonna do a review on this i'm gonna do a review on that i'm gonna become an influencer and then i start thinking first i gotta get monetized then i gotta get wait a minute these are a lot of free commercials no <laughs> so i said i love doing movies and television show recaps i'll start with that and i did one wig review which was actually over this right here and just for fun just to see if people would like it and I pumped my brakes before I uploaded another one because I thought, wait a minute, this is a commercial. This is this is free advertisement. Wait a minute, hold up. Like I get when I monetize that there'll be ads on there. Like I get that, like I get that process, but are influencers of those products which look like us getting duped? Help me understand, share this video, tag the head honchos of the women who do these rig reviews, please y'all, because I know I use it a lot as a source. And I type it in, man, I really like this way. Let me see how it look. Or let me see if somebody reviews it. And it pops right up. Like it's guaranteed 
So please fill me in and let me know if they breaking y'all off like they supposed to be breaking y'all off. And if they're not, it is time to use your voice and get that money. And for them to break you off and you may have to get you a lawyer and all that sort of stuff because you need your money. You need to get paid. Subscribe. <laughs> Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any posts. Leave your comments below because this is only part one. This is only one topic talking about the black dollar, okay? And not even just that, people who are influencing certain products and certain things and these these companies are only giving you a coupon code how does that work and is it fair what you're getting paid let me know it's time to talk about it especially with everything that's happening in the world right now with covid with people losing their jobs everything like that it's time to pay up mm -hmm. i'm looking forward to reading y'all comments and all these wig companies it's making millions and millions and millions of dollars off of these influencers that's on YouTube. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.